Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this lovely 2015 Nissan Armada Platinum that we have for sale. The Platinum is one of the range topping trim levels for the Armada, so this thing is almost completely loaded. I don't think it's got everything, but it has almost everything you get in 2015 on the Armada. Uh, really a great vehicle. Uh, it's been serviced and checked by our Nissan certified tax word and Infinity retailer. So, uh, uh, Infinity is Nissan's larger division, so our Technicians aren't just uh, Infinity certified, they're also Nissan certified. In fact, this is very uh, similar to our uh, uh, previous Infinity QX56 full-size luxury SUV. Uh, it shared its platform with uh, this particular generation of the Armada. And uh, really a great vehicle. Just a disclaimer, this one is a rear-wheel drive version, not a four-wheel drive. Uh, why would you want rear-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive? Why would you want four-wheel drive <laughs> versus rear-wheel drive? Well, for one, I guess if you do you know, drive in the snow, you're probably gonna want four wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. Maybe if you have a steep uh, driveway that ices over and it gets really slippery, maybe you want four wheel drive. But uh, pretty much everywhere, everywhere else, uh, if you, everyone else, if you live in the greater Puget Sound area, you know we don't get that much snow. Uh, maybe, you know, we got maybe about a, a week of snow this year and that's about it. So pretty much you can uh, survive for, <laughs> relatively easily in our uh, moderate climate with just a rural drive vehicle. Uh, just as long as you don't plan on driving the snow or going off-roading, I guess, is another thing too. But uh, some of the benefits of rural drive versus a four-wheel drive is that you're going to get a little bit better gas mileage with a rural drive because you're not going to... Uh, have the drag of a four wheel drive system. The four wheel drive system still uh, creates a drive line drag and adds weight to the vehicle even when you're not using the four wheel drive. And then, um, you know, you're gonna have to also service the four wheel drive system. Uh, the four wheel drive system differentials uh, do need servicing, so that's an extra service cost. And then sometimes four wheel drive systems go bad, so obviously, you know, if you have to deal with a bad four wheel drive system, you know, that's gonna add maintenance costs and repair costs. So that's just one, I guess, last thing that you're gonna have to worry about. It's a little bit more simpler when you have a rural drive vehicle. Um, and then a comparable four wheel drive uh, Armada is probably gonna be about two or three thousand dollars more than this. So it's a little bit more of an affordable price point. So better gas mileage, lower maintenance costs, a little bit lower price point for a rear wheel drive like this one. And obviously four wheel drive gives you better traction. And if you need to drive in the snow, you wanna do some serious uh, off-roading, then you might wanna look at a four wheel drive one. Um, this one is really nicely equipped, a beautiful leather interior, rear climate control, we have power and heated front seats, heated steering wheel, uh, navigation system, a boat sound system, uh, rear parking camera, universal garage door opener. Um, we have uh, 36,734 miles at the time I'm making this video. Uh, power adjustable pedals. Really nice color combination on white on tan leather. Chrome wheels, uh, plenty of tread in the tires. The uh, Armada is a full size body and frame SUV. Uh, so it's a little bit better up to task of like towing and hauling. As a big 5.6 liter V8. Uh, when properly equipped, you can tow right around 8,000 pounds. Really in uh, nice clean condition. I don't think you'll have any reservations about it. It's really in beautiful shape for a 2015. You can also see we have a power rear lift gate. The third row seating is a uh, power folding as well. This one has a aftermarket rear entertainment system, a heated outbound second row seats. Really is a nicely styled vehicle. If you're in the market for a full size SUV, definitely worth a look. And then the 5.6 seater V8 is a fantastic engine. Makes a little bit over 300 horsepower and sounds awesome and gives you excellent towing and hauling power. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day.